Hello, welcome to Hat and Games. This is another quick tip video. Today we'll be talking about advanced strategies and how you can implement them into your game. Some of you might be thinking CSGO is a game with little strategy and that you only need to point and shoot to win the round. This is partially true, having good aim will certainly help, but once you start facing opponents that have reached the same level of aim as you, the in-game strategy comes into play and will often determine what team wins. A side with well drilled strats will more than likely outplay the enemy team and get themselves into a lot more winnable situations. Now I'm not going to sit here and go over each and every strat, instead I'll briefly show you what you can do to form a strat of your own and how to use it with your team in a match. So the main element you need to focus on when trying to execute any strat is your nades. They'll be your main aid in taking bomb sites, locking off areas of the map and opening up new routes to pincer the enemy from two sides. I'm currently on the map Nuke, it's a great map to run strats off and requires a lot of teamwork to get points on the board as T side. So what I'm doing is a simple smoke onto Crows as well as a separate smoke for main. Don't worry if you don't know how to throw these just yet, I'll be uploading a lot of nade guys to my channel in the future so that you can use them in your own strats. So basically these two smokes block off anyone up in Crows and main, isolating the site making it easier to take. When running a strat you always want to make sure you isolate the site, this just means cutting off two or more players from their team and taking them out to open up the map. What we've seen so far is just the smokes, but you want to make sure you are making good use of your flashbangs when entering a site. Simple pot flashes that the enemy can't dodge are always good. On nuke you can flash your teammates in using the skylights, this pretty much blinds anyone on the site, but you can also run with a flash through hut just to make sure anyone playing on the site is also blind. When executing you typically want to go right after your flashbangs have popped, this way you have a higher chance of getting out onto the site whilst your opponents are blind, making it easier to frag out. So on this upper take, right after the flashbangs popped, you'd have two split out of Hut and Squeaky with the guy who threw the skylight flashes watching for rotators in lobby. It's a pretty basic strat and you can probably do a lot more to it, especially on a map like Nuke. For example, if you have control of outside and get one player down back steps to vents, you could have a 2-1-1 split, so one out squeaky, two out hut and one out vent. Having a take that is so split out is good as it forces the opponent to check multiple spots at once. The only risk in doing this is getting everyone into position without dying and for everyone to then face at the same point just after the flash has popped. There's a lot of different ways of taking upper or nuke and this is by no means the best. I used it purely as an example for you guys to get a rough idea about the thought process behind all these grenades and how they can set you up to win the round. At the end of the day it all depends on how the enemy team is playing and you should adapt your strategy accordingly. Teams will often have a default strat which they run just to feel out how the enemy team is playing their positions. Obviously the other side will catch on if you keep running the same strat each round which is why organised teams will have a number of different strats for every map to keep their opponents guessing. Thanks for watching guys. Remember if you are interested in coming up with your own strats but need some decent nade spots like the ones in this video, then make sure you stay tuned as I will be uploading a ton of spots to hopefully help new teams out. If you missed my last two videos you can check them out here. On the top we have the previous episode of quick tips on what gun to buy and on the bottom we have a live match on the map Mirage. Again thanks for watching and I will see you next time.